What's up guys? Today I'm gonna teach you how to make a clicker. So we're just gonna do it a normal scratch cat clicker for now. But for right now, I'm just gonna show you an example of of like what a clicker what type of clicker we're gonna make. But first I'm gonna show you something. Scratch is now broken. Let's wait for that to be done. Okay, we broke our scratch. Now, let's, I'll show you what clicker I'm talking about. Let me find it. It's my 100th project. Here it is, a um, Moongas clicker. Okay, so what we want is to click it. Now, let's do it. Oh, not that one. Okay, here we are. So first, what we're gonna do is so you know in the a, a yes clicker, uh, you gotta when well basically when you put the mouse pointer on to the plus guy, it gets bigger. So that's what we want. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go here and grab one flag clicked, and then uh what I did is an if then else. Oh, or you can just do two if then. That's what you could do. But I'm just gonna do use the if then else. So and, oh yeah, and first we gotta make the costume. So I just delete that other costume, duplicate it, and make it a little bit bigger. That's how we're gonna do it. So it looks like that. Yeah, and then now we're gonna do if touching mouse pointer there and then what we're gonna do is it's costume of costume too and then grab an if then block go to operators and then grab a not so that and then you're gonna right click that duplicate it and put it in here Okay, and then do this with costume. Costume what? Okay, so this this is what it's doing right now. So what you do is like it's if touching map uh, mouse pointer switch costume with costume two. So that means it'll make it bigger. And then if not touching mouse pointer, it'll switch back to the smaller version. So let's test it. Click the flag. Oh yeah, I forgot to add a forever loop around it. Silly me. Okay, one clicked. Yep, that's working perfectly. Okay, now it's time for the easier part. Making sure that when you click it, it adds a point. So what you're gonna do, delete the my variable. Will be okay. Make a variable and make it score. I'm just gonna do it. Awuga <laughs> score. Awuga, <laughs> and then click it. Click it two times if you want it to look like this. Then just move it to the middle there, or you could just right click it and then large readout slider or normal readout but don't do slider otherwise you can change the points to one to 100 it just becomes too complicated so just make it to large readout or you can keep it normal readout yeah and then what we're gonna do is go to events and when this sprite clicked Change score Awuga by one. If you wonder where I got Awuga from, it's from the new movie Turning Red. 
Whoops. Accidentally switched ones. Uh, I'm gonna go back there. There. Now let's see. If you're at the edge, you'll just go crazy. But uh, it's fine. People will probably just like keep it in the middle. And then, uh, when flag clicked, set score Awuga to zero. Yeah. Oh, and if you want to, you can grab a, a sound effect to make it so, like, when you're clicking, you it make, it plays a sound to make more people like it. So, um, choose do choose a sound effects and do it whatever one you want. But I suggest using coin and collect. I'm gonna choose coin. I made it so loud, so loud. Hold on, I'm gonna try making it robot. Copy me if you want to have the sound. Okay, anyway, when the sprite clicked, play sound coin. Now let's test. Good. Okay, now we're gonna do another thing. We're gonna do when space key pressed, then what you're gonna do is you're gonna do also change score awuga by one. But then you end up with something like this. If you hold space, this is what happens. So what you do is wait 0 0.1 seconds. Cool. I'm holding space, and this is what we get. Good.